Hey everybody, it's Jim. I am back again with another unboxing video for you here. This is a two for on Monday, and I uh, thought this would be of interest to some folks. I've got a lot of excitement built up around this one. i got a package in the mail today from uh, Chaosium. Chaosium? Big honking box here, and I'll tell you what, this box is so well packaged. This is amazing. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a package from anybody. I mean, even like Amazon or other, other people that, um, or other companies that have so much tape <laughs> on here. Like, this is really, really super impressive. And, uh, um, taking this off, I guess. I guess if anybody really wants my address, you can go freeze frame that, uh, that video. But anyway, this is a really, really well, uh, well, um, well sealed box. And, uh, this, uh, this is a uh, unboxing video for, uh, those of you who are into uh, some classic role-playing game action here and the new edition that's coming out, this is the uh, this is going to be uh, something that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I don't know if it's near and dear to your heart, but uh, certainly you should uh, you should check it out. This is a starter set that just came out. I ordered this about a week and a half ago. Oh my gosh, this is even getting into this box is a labor. This going on here, boy. This is so well packaged. I have never even. Gosh, I'm trying to think. Even the even the Star Trek Adventures Borg cube that I got seven years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, um, did not have this level of quality <laughs> in the in the packaging of all things. And uh, gosh, this is gonna take a second here get through here there we go there's that one someone start playing yakety sax here in the background as jim attempts to unbox this stupid box good lord Chaosium, you are doing some amazing work here but i'll tell you what your boxes are like like nobody's getting into this box until you're darn ready all right here we go all right and uh, best practice always fold up your knife when you're done there we go right away all right, so not only do we have a box that's super well taped, we've got we've got loads and loads of paper packaging in here. And oh, look at that! <laughs> As if all that packaging wasn't enough, they've also packaged it in a in a nice handy. Uh, hey, I guess we need that knife again. Uh, I guess they weren't joking. Oh, you know what? My invoice. I remember now. My my invoice said that. Uh, uh, there was a note on the invoice that said, please double pack this. And uh, I certainly didn't write that down. I guess it must be standard practice for, for Chaosium, which I, I certainly applaud the intention. Um, but holy cow, people. This is... Uh... Fortunately, most of this stuff I think is recyclable. So that's good news. Recyclable is good. Uh, so let's just go down this way. All right. Boy, here we go. Now we fold up the knife again. That away. Pop that. Pop that. Oh my gosh! Just just looking at the initial design of it. All right. This, my friends, is the Pendragon Sixth Edition starter set. All you need for adventure in a world of chivalry and honor, by Greg Stafford. And uh, apologies for the glare. Wow, that is beautiful. Um, I, I, I'm just a sucker for this good classical, classic look and feel artwork. I mean, there's a lot to be said for modern art, but uh, this just has a classic look to it. Uh, now I'm drawing a blank. There was an artist who, who did a lot of art for, um, for Valiant way back in the day. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Archer and Armstrong and a couple others. Uh, that, that, that this art reminds me a little bit of, but gosh, that is so, so gorgeous and so different than a lot of the stuff that's on the market right now, uh, which is really interesting. So I'm going to be very careful now to break open this, uh, this seal here, the, uh, the, the shrink wrap on it. And I guess I should have kept my knife out because I'm not quite done with it yet, darn it. But there you go. All right, there we go. All right. So let me put that away one more time. It should be the end of it. All right, so let's get the shrink wrap out of here. All right, so again, this is the uh, 
6th edition Pendragon starter set. The core book will come along when it's ready. I don't believe Chaosium has uh, made any announcement as to a release date. And uh, personally, as a, a longtime fan of Pendragon and of their work, I would, you know, prefer that they just took their sweet time uh, to get it absolutely right. Like we do beautiful, beautiful products, wonderful products. Uh, here's the back cover, if you can see it. There's a beautiful map on there, some artwork, uh, indication that uh, uh, mature content, 18 plus, or 16 plus, uh, two to seven players or more, depending on your group, and uh, time anywhere from two plus, two plus hours. You can certainly play RPGs for longer or for shorter, etc. But uh, just beautiful finish on the box, nice solid box, um, certainly well designed, nice nice thin box overall nice hefty weight to it too i mean clearly there's some great components in here i bet you so let's uh let's take a look here uh nothing on the back cover but, or in the inside inside top box whatever uh okay we've got um a package of dice we've got uh one two three four five six six siders and a d20 uh the uh, six siders are gold with dark blue numbering and the um you can see that here and the 20 sided dice is uh a, I think that's a marbled blue. Let's crack this open, take a look here. It's, yeah, it's kind of marble finish, like a dark blue, light blue finish. Let me see if you can get that on the camera. Okay, I'll put it in front of my face so it focuses a little bit better. Uh, gold numbers, no special symbols, no fancy symbols on the one face or the 20 face. It's just a standard D20, but really nice, kind of a mottled blue with a gold, gold numbering. And then, is that, now is that black or is that dark blue? Now you know what, that might be black. It's hard to tell. And these old eyes, I'm not sure. So that's a, that's a D6, uh, standard facings on all six sides. Uh, gold, gold plastic with uh, either black or very dark blue um, ink on the numbers. Not quite sure on there, but that looks pretty. Um, I'll probably just leave it in the bag. I, I've got my own dice that I like to use uh, for gaming, but those are just very, very nice, very nice dice. Very nice, nice set. All right. Um, this is something that I really love about good box sets is right on the top, what's in the box? Like straight up, the first thing you see is a, is a picture. I'm going to assume that's probably Arthur um, and uh, indication of what's in the box. So what is in the box? Book one, book two, book three, four appendices, pre-generated characters, battle cards, dice. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the contents and then grab the dice and a pencil and dive right in. All right. So that's the, the, the front sheet. On the back sheet, uh, see this is a one page advertisement for, uh, for uh, Chaosium. You got uh, RuneQuest, Glorantha, Glorantha, I'm honestly not familiar with it, how to tell you. Uh, more RuneQuest, uh, Game Master Screen, BC Area, etc. So, you know, nice one page ad, take advantage of the space when you got it, and what's in the box. So, you got a nice little one sheet there, tells you all about what's in the box. All right, so this is book one The Adventure of the Sword and the Stone. Some nice artwork there. Uh, some uh, young squires getting ready to, uh, to uh, do some training here. Someone up. Uh, that person's looking very happy, so they're not screaming in concern. Now on the back cover is a be beautiful uh, beautiful map, a beautiful portion of a map, north of uh, the British Isle, I would think. The main British Island. Pick tribes. You can, the north, more pick tribes, long isles, strong gore, Lothian, gore, Galloway, Garloth, etc., etc. Um, really nice, nice high quality paper. A uh, beautiful full four color, um, full color illustrations. Uh, nice uh, little bit of heraldry on the inside front cover there. Oh, let me see if we can get that a little bit better. That would be, um, let's see, Pendragon, Tissade Dragon. Okay, Pendragon starter set. Beautiful. Uh, this looks like a, a solo quest adventure. So um, I think. Chaosium and Pendragon have done this before, where you have a you have an adventure here. It's like a like a choose your own adventure almost. You you go through it by the numbers, and I mean, gosh, look at this, look at this chapter head. I mean, that is that is just fantastic layout and design work, with the with the border design here, 
and the huge capital and the, and the coloring. I mean, this is just inspiring from a layout standpoint. I need to think about this for Star Trek and see what other things we can imagine uh, to do for Star Trek. But uh, some ba basic understanding of the rules here. Um, again, here's another Pontius Piss on the uh, inside front cover. Or actually, that's the second page, third page. Uh, <laughs> and even these little these little design notes here uh, harkens to the um, the little decorations and designs that the monks would put into the marginalia of the um, illuminated manuscripts that they were working on back in the day at candlelight, uh, working so hard. Oh, that's a nice piece of art. A little bit of, a little bit of art eye candy there for you. Very nice. Uh, so this is clearly a, a like an opening adventure that you play through by yourself. Really nice. Looks like there's 80, 90, 100, 120, 30, it's like 130, 135 different little sections that you, you know, can play through. Of course, there's a dramatic moment in the uh, in the mythos. Reaching for Excalibur there. Sword in the Stone. All right, so that is that is book one, the Adventure of the Sword in the Stone, a solo quest adventure. So that's that's book one. That's right there on the top after the uh, after the opening page. Then we've got book two, the Fabled Realm. Rules and setting, very important information there. Nice piece of artwork. Uh, the map continues on the back, and clearly this map goes together with the map on the, um, yeah, there's a little bit of overlap. It'll be hard to do on the camera, but there's a, there's a little bit of overlap here where Gore and Garlock kind of connect, so something along those lines. And I'm gonna guess that the, uh, the third booklet, which is uh, Book 3, The Sword Campaign. Um, uh, yeah, it sure does. So there's the Book 3, The Sword Campaign, with some more art there. Those, that looks like the round table. And the knight's starting to form. And then the map continues. And this is uh, the southern areas, obviously. We got uh, Londinium right there, and Logris, and some of the other. Linden, Bettegrain, Lambor. Yes, these names are well familiar for those of us who played a lot of uh, Pendragon in the day. Including me. There's Salisbury, Sarum, Dorset, Malmesbury, etc., etc. Anyway, so that's book three. Let's look at book two. All right, book two, The Fabled Realm. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, there's the, there's the full blown map. And please, please, please make this available as a separate. Separate purchase. I would, I would, I would frame that and put it on my wall, or I would uh, find a way to make it readily available for my gaming group when we start playing through this, um, or even digital. Well, we got the PDF. That PDF was purchased, by the way. Uh, 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 Chaosium is awesome for that, uh, just like other companies, including Medifius. But uh, uh, we're focusing on this one here. Uh, more lovely artwork. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail here. Uh, it's fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful style and design. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, again, full color throughout. Nice tables, nice table design. Simple, simple and very clean layout there. You can see that. Nice use of color. Very effective, very straightforward. Um, absolutely gets the job done. Combat. Getting the getting the wild boar there, classic uh, classic storyline there. All right, so that's book two. That's uh, rules and setting. Very important information to have. All right, continuing on to book three, the sword campaign. Uh, this is I'm willing to bet this is like the adventure of the sword tournament, the adventure of the forest of the silver deer, the adventure of the broken sword. So there's several adventures in here, uh, shorter adventures in here. Uh, I'm willing to bet I probably have to go look at my great Pendragon campaign. This might be the first little chunk of that. Um, again, just beautiful, beautiful chapter design, uh, design work there. Really nicely done. Really strong use of red too. Like, like I mean, really nice layout with the kind of uh, sepia tan background with the red just absolutely popping off of that, uh, and the blue is just really, really sharp as well. Um, Again, you know, high quality paper, looks really good. Artwork looks great. Um, 
liberal use of heraldry, of course. you got to have the heraldry, heraldry in here, or it just wouldn't be Pendragon without it. Gorgeous. Very nice. All right, then we've got, what else we got here? we got another stack of paperwork in here. Oh, my gosh. So much great stuff in here. I'm spoiled. We are so spoiled, I tell you what. Between Kickstarter and uh, modern technology and just all the stuff that we can do with games these days, it is, we are so spoiled as gamers now because there are just so many great components uh, to games anymore. So Appendix A, um, all about tournaments. So if you want to know more about tournaments, there's some information there. Uh, Appendix B, all about running a battle. Right there, it's, a, it's like an eight-page, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-page booklet all about battles and the battle, battle system reference on the back there. Appendix C, another appendix, uh, overland movement. Talking about overland movement. Yep, it's important because when horses are your uh, um, primary mode of travel, you need to know how long it takes because a lot of us these days have no idea, right? Um, a lot of us don't ride horses anymore or have no familiarity with horses, and uh, it's important to know that the horses are way more than uh, living, breathing motorcycles, <laughs> right? I've seen that happen a lot where people don't really have any appreciation for what a horse is or does or whatever. Um, anyway, then there's one more appendix. Appendix D, visiting a foreign court. That can be very important to your uh, your campaign or your game. This is just a, a one pager folded in half, uh, but so four pages of content there. Uh, nice piece of art right there on the inside. So very nice there. So four four short appendices uh, in uh, in paper. All right, what else we got here? We got the six, twelve. We've got 18 cards. These look like uh, battle cards of some sort. They are um, six to a page. Uh, it looks like these are perforated, so I'll be uh, very careful with those until time for me to un unperforate them. But you can see there's a, some nice use of color on the cards. This is a nice, uh, um, nice card stock. It's, it's a little, little flimsy, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably put these in uh, card sleeves. Gosh, is that a tarot size? I'm not sure what size of card that is. I'll have to look and see if that's a standard card size. Uh, but again, there's uh, six, twelve, eight. There's three sheets of cards, uh, 18 cards in total. Again, very pretty. Uh, talking about some of the different um, battle elements. You've got uh, rally of the troops, rally of the division, clash of champions, knights of gore, knights of Lothian, knights of Malahot, knights of Cornwall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so check those out as you have time. Uh, that goes on here. And then we've got the uh, sample player characters. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we've got eight here. And uh, wow, these are really nice. Um, it's uh, eight and a half by 11, but it's folded, right? So it's uh, it's folded there. So you uh, you look at the you look at the the uh, information here. You get their coat of arms. On the back is a full page uh, piece of artwork that is just unbelievably fantastic. I just love that look. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Really nice artwork. Um, makes me want to go to Hero Forge and <laughs> see if I can make a version of that. I'm willing to bet I could get something real close, right? And then paint it. Oh man, that looks really cool. Uh, all the information on the other side of the character sheet, uh, traits, uh, equipment, skills, characteristics, etc., etc. Uh, so that is really nice. So that is uh, Sir Clarion, uh, noble, noble knight. We've got Sir uh, Sir Evrion, Evrion, right there. Very nice. Gosh, great attention to detail on the on the costumes as well. Uh, Dame Linnell, lovely piece of artwork there. She's looking fierce. This is fantastic. I love to see the diversity in the. Uh, in the characters here. Uh, Sir Avalok, another beautiful piece of artwork there. And again, these are all um, fold out character sheets with all the information on the inside. A nice little portfolio for people to have at the, at the table. I could easily see this being played at a convention um, or at a game store uh, if you want to just get people into the game and interested. Uh, Dame Tamura, Ta Tamura um, Pagan from Brittany. I love it. I love the diversity. Loving it. I don't know, I'm going to have to do a video uh, comparing, contrasting Pendragon to Star Trek and talk about diversity, inclusion, and role-playing. All the role-playing potential that's been, been 
a hallmark of Pendragon for so long, uh, and how their trait system kind of uh, sort of applies to um, traits and focuses in Star Trek Adventures. It'll be fun to talk about that a little bit. Uh, we got uh, Cad Wallen with a, uh, a long spear or a pike there, I suppose, and a shield. In fact, what do they call that in here? It's uh, well, that's not the boar spear. I guess no, maybe a lance, lance or a boar spear, I guess. But uh, that is just gorgeous. Uh, Kimrick Christian Homeland from Salisbury. Okay, so Cad Wallen, that's you. Um, we've got uh, Dame. Dame Gwynhild, very nice. Look at that. Oh man, this artwork. Oh man, this is amazing. Saxon Vodnik, Homeland Barak, statuesque and loudmouth. And there's her uh, escutcheon, coat of arms there. Very nice. Oh, so great. Love the detail. Very nice. And then finally we have Sir Asterius, oh, looking, looking very. Uh, uh, Middle Eastern uh, Syrian, so he hails from Syria. Oh, look at that! Just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. So nice, fantastic diverse. I, I don't think I've ever remember Pendragon being so intentionally diverse in their artwork. I, I you know, don't you know? Certainly, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I just don't remember. I have to go back through the older books and check it out. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. This is uh, 20 minutes of an unboxing video. The, the components look fantastic. I can't wait to dig into this as I have time to do it. So if you are a fan of uh, heroic role-playing and you want an alternative to other games that are out there and you want to um, play one of the most classic uh, uh, mythical fantasy RPGs out there, you, you have to try out Pendragon. Whether it's the starter set or the quick start that's available on their website, but here it is, starter uh, uh, unboxing for the Pendragon starter set. I'm super excited for this. I cannot wait to get into this um, and start reading it and start uh, finding a way to play that uh, either online or in person with my friends at some point here. So uh, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Enjoy this unboxing. Uh, like and subscribe. Link, uh, you know, uh, comment down below if you love Pendragon or if uh, you want to hear more about this uh, starter set. If you got some comments about it, by all means, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks so much for your time. Be safe. Be well. And I'll talk to you all next time.